DFG Science TV, Bonded Concrete, Breaking Tests, How Strong is Ultra Strong? The day that everyone's been waiting for has arrived. Today we'll finally see how much load the beam can bear. First of all, the researchers install the beam in the test setup that's been prepared for it and adjust it so that it's in the right position. We already encountered the strain gauges back in episode 5. Today, the researchers connect the strain gauges to a measuring amplifier and to the PC, and the same with the displacement transducers. We saw the camera used for the optical measurement in episode 5 too. Now the researchers are setting it up behind the beam. Before the experiment begins, the team of researchers measure everything once again very thoroughly and discuss the final details. Guido Bertram describes what we're about to see. Now the beam's installed and the measuring apparatus ready. We're now going to subject the beam to a load using this hydraulic cylinder until it breaks. During the experiment, we'll measure the strains and the cracks in the region of the web using the displacement transducers. To do so, we've also attached more displacement transducers here beside the openings to measure the crack width there. The researchers control the load applied to the beam on the PC. As soon as the first cracks appear, they're marked using a marker pen. So that the fine crack remains visible, Guido has to draw the mark beside the crack itself. Guido draws an interim conclusion. At the moment we're exerting a load of about 10 tons or even a bit more on this side of the beam. The first shear cracks have formed here, but they're still very fine. If we hold the crack ruler up to the crack, we can see that the crack width is less than 0.1 millimeters. But the crack widths are recorded on the one hand by the displacement transducers and on the other optically using the camera on the other side of the beam. Here where the cracks are forming, the concrete's still able to take a load. That's because the fibers transmit the forces across the crack. In other words, the tensile forces are transmitted from here to here, bridging the crack. The reinforcement, which is in the concrete here and here, either side of the hole, does exactly the same job. They continue increasing the load applied to the beam. The increasing load causes more cracks to develop in the concrete. Now the shear force has risen to 17.5 tons, which the beam has to transfer from the loading point to the support block here. We can see a number of shear cracks now. For instance, here in the middle there are four or so, and another three or four significant shear cracks back here, between the hole and the support. And here, to the right of the hole, there are another three or four. They continue increasing the load on the beam, and the cracks are gradually getting wider. Now the cracks are clearly visible. We're nearing the end of the experiment. There are cracking noises that are getting louder. They come from the steel fibers that bridge the cracks and are being pulled out of the concrete one by one. How long will the beam hold? At a shear force of about 25 tons, one of the vertical reinforcement bars cracks. A clear indication of shear failure for the researchers. Well, this crack here is expanded considerably now. That's a clear indication that the fibers here have been pulled out of the concrete and that this bar has failed. Here we've also got a place where the concrete has spalled off. In other words, localized failure of the concrete caused by excessive deformation in this area. The load has dropped back to about 75 to 80 percent now and now we're going to relieve the load completely. A resounding success for the researchers at the Institute of Structural Concrete in Aachen. Both the ultimate load as well as the failure pattern were as they had anticipated. They'll test the other side of the beam in another experiment. Will their predictions for the second test be right as well? We'll see in the next episode. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.